This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So last week, during our instant deck decks, it was the crazy modern combo deck, Sly Sword Combo, that came out on top. So this week, we are heading to modern to see if we can go infinite in one of several different ways. This deck just has so many weird synergies and combos thrown in. Like usual, gonna do a super quick two minute refresher deck deck, but if you want a full breakdown of the deck and all the combos, make sure to check out the instant deck deck where we talk at length about the deck. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Sly Sword for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the corner of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk the combos of Sly Sword. So combo number one, a pretty typical one. Thopter Foundry, Sword of the Meek. If you get both of these cards, you can keep sacrificing Sword of the Meek for one mana to make a Thopter gain a life, which gets back Sword of the Meek so you can sack it again. Doesn't go truly infinite, but you basically make a Thopter and gain a life for each mana you have, which hopefully grinds the opponent out of the game over the course of a few turns. We have War of Invention to find either part of our combo or or most of our other combo pieces, which are also artifact based. Combo number two involves Sly Requisitioner and Grinding Station. So with Sly Requisitioner and Grinding Station, if we throw Sword of the Meek into the mix, we have another way of going infinite. We're able to use Grinding Station to sacrifice Sword of the Meek, mill our opponent for three cards, which will trigger Sly Requisitioner to make a 1-1 Servo, which gets back Sword of the Meek and untaps the Grinding Station. So we sack Sword again, mill our opponent. So we basically just infinitely mill our opponent out of the game. We can also, if we don't have Sword of the Meek, just sacrifice some random artifacts to Grinding Station, targeting ourselves with the mill to try to mill over Sword of the Meek, so then we can go infinite, combo off, mill out our opponent. Combo number three involves Scrap Trawler and free artifact creatures, Memnite, Mirror Moon Vessel, Ornithopter. The basic idea here is if we could find Memnite's uh, Mirror Moon Vessels, along with Scrap Trawler, Grinding Station, and Sword of the Meek, we are able to do this weird loop where we use Grinding Station to sacrifice Memnite to get it in the graveyard. Then we use Grinding Station to sacrifice Sword of the Meek, which gets us back the Memnite thanks to Scrap Trawler. We cast the Memnite, which gets back the Sword of the Meek. Then we go through the loop again. We do need two Memnites to do it, so one's on the battlefield being cast, one's in the graveyard. But with two Memnites, Grinding Station, Sword of the Meek, Scrap Trawler, we're able to infinitely mill our opponent in a really convoluted backdoor sort of way. Also, Scrap Trawler, just a nice value piece, if, uh, getting back Thopter Foundry, for example, some of our other combo pieces. Chromatic Star, Niles Spell Bomb, just to keep us drawing through our deck, giving us cheap artifacts to turn on things like Mox Oberl for Sly Requisitioner. Mox and Spring Leaf Drum just accelerate us into our combo faster. Mana Base, Dark Steel Citadel, pretty important since it's an artifact, we can sacrifice it, use it for some of our synergies. Some Shock Lands, some Basic Lands. Sideboard, the Antiquities War, Gerper Ether Grid to win through Stony Silence, also to win through Graveyard Hate. Some of the best sideboard cards against our deck. Welding Jar to protect our combo pieces. Wear Tear to protect our combo by dealing with Leyline of the Void, Rest in Peace, Stony Silence, etc. Some Artifact Tutor targets for specific matchups. Pithy Needle for stuff like Oblivion Stone and Planeswalkers. Dab Big Sphere for Storm and Tron. Ratchet Bomb for removal. Sun Droplet for aggro. Battle at the Bridge removal. Also tons of life gain if we improvise it. And that is Sly Sword Combo for Modern. And that is our Much Brew deck for this week. So let's get to the gameplay so you can see how how this works. Just a warning, this deck is ridiculously hard and has a ton of synergy, so there might be some butts along the way. Be forgiving, be forgiving. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are wombo comboing in modern with Sly Sword. Monastery's Whisper. All right, opponent's gonna burn us out or attempt to this should be interesting gets in with swift spear yep so we have some random life gain we'll see if we're fast enough well step one watery grave tapped we're gonna wait on ornithopter ornithopter next turn when we can grinding station seems like it would be better mountain for our opponent lava spike pumping the swift spear sure down to 16 Gets in with Swift Spear. Down to 14. 
Mm-hmm. And passes. We'll play the island. Play Springleaf Drum. Play Ornithopter. Play Thopter. Hmm. Play Grinding Station. And pass the turn. Well, let's see if we stay alive. Opponent untaps. Mountain. Three mana. Oh my goodness. Molten Rain. That was not expected. That's some spicy burn. Molten Rain burn. That's like true original Ponza. Opponent gets it. Yep. Hits us. Down to ten. Passes. We'll play Spire of Industry. Well, unfortunately, we need to pay a life for Thopter Foundry. Yep. Pass the turn. This is where things get really interesting. So we can sack Ornithopter to Thopter Foundry to gain a life and make a Thopter? Chandra. Holy, holy, holy. Okay. Ticks up. Down to seven. Opponent gets in. Well, we block. <sighs> what do we do? I guess we got to make a Thopter. Yeah. Make a Thopter so we can have a creature for the Springleaf Drum. So sack Ornithopter. Gain a life. Untap. Sure. Stay at eight. Opponent passes. Darksteel Citadel. Well, play Darksteel Citadel. Tap it for mana. Mill ourselves. Sacking Citadel. Well, there's sword. We found a sword. All right. Untap grinding station. Oh, now we got all kinds of options. We can't quite go infinite with scrap trawler yet. Hmm. Well, let's just sack grinding station. Make a thopter. Get back sword. Hit Chandra for one. And I think against Burn, I think our best bet is actually just to play the Thopter Sword plan. So pass. Hmm. Let's gain one more life here. So sacrifice. Let's go up to ten. Sacrifice Sword. Get a Thopter. Our opponent's deck is so weird. I'm not 100% sure what to expect. I'm worried about, like, Thunder Maw Hellkite or something coming off the top to just ruin our day. But this life gain should be enough. And we might still go infinite eventually. Rift Bolt suspended. That's fine. We do want to kill Chandra. Shard Volley. Down to seven. Yep. And what? Shard Volley again? If we can get rid of Chandra, though, gaining four life a turn should be enough. Goblin Guide. That's not too scary. That just dies to Thopter. Chandra finds a bolt. Well, that's more damage than... Huh. You got a mana floating. That was interesting. Okay. I would have taken three damage, but opponent's a fan of the two. Gets in. Gets in. Goblin Guide. Gives us a land. Well, sack the sword. Make a Thopter. Gain a life. Block, block. One... Two, three, four. All right, block, block. Yep. Oh, we should have made one more. Huh. That's awkward. This is very awkward. Well, sack Springleaf Drum. Mega Thopter. We got to kill this Chandra. Yeah, we should have just made one more right away. Untap everything at Chandra. Chandra down. Play Spire of Industry. Mega Thopter gain a life. And we should be good now. I don't think our opponent's going to be able to kill us from here. Yeah, we left. We had to sack our Springleaf Drum. We needed to just make another Thopter earlier. Because if we sacked uh, the Sword, the Thopter that blocked Goblin Guide would have died. And then we would... Well, I guess we... Skullcrack is a thing. So I guess we do this now while our opponent's empty-handed. Gain a life. Just in case they randomly draw a Skullcrack. Gain a life. So up to 10. Down to 7. Plenty of blockers for Swift Spear. Opponent hits a land. And goes attacking. Interesting. Well, yeah, we'll double block. Just get rid of it. Swift Spear down. Opponent passes. We'll play the island. Attack with everything. Hit our opponent. And now I think we can get down Scrap Trawler. Let's play Scrap Trawler. 
and pass the turn. Because our opponent can't really draw seven damage. Lava spike down to four. Yup. Opponent passes. Well, sack the sword. Throwing Scrap Trawler in this loop is pretty sweet. Because now we're getting stuff back from the graveyard as well. So we can get back our Spring Leaf Drum. Gain a life, make a Thopter. Is this lethal? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not quite. Moreland Haunt. So play Moreland Haunt. Attack with everything. Yeah, we're not even going to bother to combo. We're just going to... We're just going to make Thopters, keep our life total high. I think that's fine. Sword of the Meek, Sacked. Get back Chromatic Star. Gain a life. Get back Sword. Sword of the Meek, Sacked. I don't know what our opponent could actually draw here that would be a problem, but... Get back Ornithopter. Man, we're just, like, refilling our hand, too. Get back Sword. We probably could go Infinite here, or attempt to, but... I think it would be more time consuming than it needs to be. All right, pass the turn. Burn just doesn't have a way out of this. So there's no reason to loop for 10 minutes when when we have the win by Thoptering. Riff Bolt, down to five. And yeah, Thopter Foundry coming through. We won't do anything here. Just untap, go to combat. Do the nice, quick, respectful kill. No reason to rub it in when you're playing the combo deck. <laughs> For the sake of everyone, just kill the opponent as quickly and easily as possible. All right, against Burn, we have Sun Droplet. That is one of our big sideboard cards. We can be bring in Battle at the Bridge, which is kind of hilarious. Since this is Mono Red Burn, little less worried about, or it looks to be Mono Red Burn, little less worried about Graveyard Hate. Welding Jar could be an option. The question is, what are we going to go down? We can go up Welding Jar. Let's go down Nile Spell Bomb. Let's go down Nile Spell Bomb. And go down one Ornithopter. Because our opponent probably is going to bring in like a million Smash to Smithereens. And I don't really want to get Smash to Smithereens. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> this hand, I mean, we got our Thopter Foundry. And we oddly have... A potentially huge battle at the bridge for a big swing of life. Opponent. Rift Bolt suspended. Hmm. So if we Spire of Industry, Spire of Industry, Memnite, Mox Opal, Chromatic Star, Mirror Moon Vessel? <laughs> Probably for the first time in the history of modern. Pass the turn. We're kind of like Mirror Tribal ish. <laughs> Mirror Moon Vessel. What is modern coming to? Pwn it. Riffle. Assume they're going phase here. Yeah. Riff holding a Mem Knight just does not feel like great value. Mountain. Pwn it. And a Searing Blaze is a bit better value. Takes down Mem Knight. And passes. Well, Pluta Delta. Crack Pluta Delta. Grab an island. Get in with Moon Vessel. Hit our opponent. Play Thopter Foundry and pass the turn. I guess we can sack Chromatic Star for value at some point. Sly Requisitioner would be sweet. At some point, we're going to have to gain a bunch of life with this battle at the bridge. Opponent passing. Well, sack Chromatic Star, make a Thopter. All right. Well, Darksteel Citadel is a sackable land at least. Ooh, Sun Droplet. Play Sun Droplet. Play Darksteel Citadel. Get in with the Moon Vessel. Hit our opponent. Now we basically just want War of Invention or just naturally drawing one of our combo pieces. If we find Scrap Trawler or Sword, we're in pretty sweet shape. I guess Scrap Trawler is not literally game over on this board state, but it's still pretty good. Because we can just sack random stuff to get back other random stuff. Ugh, Hazorat. Well, can't attack yet, thankfully. Oh my god, battle at the bridge. <laughs> oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Play the island. And uh, yeah, sorry, opponent. Many apologies. Oh, man, this is brutal. This is the brutalist. Actually, I think we should leave up one mana for sacking something to Thopter Foundry, just in case. Could have, like, Searing Blood or something. Yeah. Tap it all. X7. <laughs> Well, we got him. We're up to 21 against Burn. Oh, Battle at the Bridge. Sideboard, apparently all-star Battle at the Bridge. And uh, it's going to take Burn a while to kill us now. The jank. <laughs> Mere Moon Vessel. It's doing it. Yep, pass the turn. 
opponent's got to be so sad. Our deck has some cards that just really line up well against Burn Mountain. I mean, we're not really killing our opponent at the moment. But being at 21 and being the combo deck means we should win eventually. Lava Spike. All the way down to 18. And that adds counters to our Sun Droplet. So we will gain that life back. Shard Volley. Uh-huh. Down to 15. I think our opponent might just be giving up. Although, our opponent does not strike me as a scooper. So I assume we're playing it out. Sun Droplet. Start gaining back that life we lost. That's a Scrap Trawler. I'll play Scrap Trawler. Watery Grave. Untapped. Hmm. I want that chromatic star back. Yeah, let's sack Sun Droplet. <laughs> Get back chromatic star. Make a Thopter. Gain a life. Play chromatic star. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. And yeah, we'll just pass. If we can draw into grinding station, we go infinite. Mountain. Lava spike. Down to 12. Well, sack star. Make a Thopter. Draw a card. Get back Memnite. Spire of Industry. Yeah, sure. We draw. More Trawlers. Well, play a Trawler. Play a Spire. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Eh, play the Memnite. And, I mean, I guess we just have Lethal next turn. We could do some tricks, get a bunch of stuff back from our graveyard, but I think just attacking. Probably fine. Well, this feels like a pretty good matchup for our deck. No stony silences, no graveyard hate, and our life gain is very relevant. Plus, our opponent did a little bit of flooding out, so... Well, we'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, taking down burn, taking down burn. Kind of weird burn, but... All right, Sly Sword, no combos, just beatdowns. Sweet. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Sly Sword combo, and this hand is pretty good. Uh, Goblin Guide, burn... Well, we got some life gain, which is nice. We have Thopter Foundry Sword of the Meek, assuming a land here would be awesome. It is a land, all right. Opponent is on the play. Well, we get to play an island. Play Chromatic Star. Play Memnite. Play Mox Opal. Play Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. Show us what you got. Swift Spear gonna go attacking more lands we'll take more lands opponent gets in more lands take our beats down to 15 mem knight a play spire of industry play thopter foundry and play mem knight pass the turn we are gonna sack a chromatic star here to gain some life all right opponent finds a land and there's eidolon sure Man, our opponent might just not attack. Do they attack? No attacks. All right, untap. Chromatic Star. Apply Spire of Industry. One, two, three, four, five. Play Sly Requisitioner. Sack Chromatic Star. Make a couple tokens. Gain some life. Draw a card. Ooh, another Requisitioner. Good God. Um. All right, pass the turn. Play some D. Bloodstained Mire. Bolts Sly Requisitioner. Well, Sacramatic Star. Token. Card. Token Life. Yep, opponent cracks. Snow Covered Mountain. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Goblin Guide. Ooh, grinding Station on top. Well, double block Goblin Guide. Single block Swift Spear. If our opponent taps out, we can combo kill, I think. Eidolon. Opponent passes. Do we have enough mana? Play the island. So two for grinding stone, grinding station. Two for sword of the meek. Tap everything for sly requisitioner. Kill our opponent with grinding station. I think that works. So play sword of the meek. Take our beats. Down to 13. Play grinding station. Down to nine. Yep. Sly requisitioner. So, Sack Sword, make a token, mill our opponent, and yeah, we just have the infinite mill, and that should do it. We'll see how long our opponent wants to make us play it out, but that is the turn four kill. Sack the sword, untap. It is a little time consuming, a little click intensive, but it's working. Let's show our opponent what's happening. 
Mill. I guess we can auto yield to the mill. All right. Sack. Mill. I guess we can auto yield to Sly Requisitioner as well. All right. So Mega Token. Untap. Get back sword. Untap. Mill. Sack sword. Token. Mill. Sack sword. Token mill, and I mean, we got there, and we even have our auto triggers working pretty well. That's making it a lot faster. It seems a little risky that we might accidentally miss something, but in this scenario, it should be pretty hard to actually mess up. Mill our opponent, mega one one. Mill our opponent. So, infinite tokens, not getting any life at the moment, but that's fine. And more importantly, just milling our opponent out of the game. Opponent's gonna, gonna let us see their deck, which is fine. I mean, it's mill, uh, burn, so. On tap, down to 19 cards. I uh, watch them have like a surprise Emrakul. They're like burn with one Emrakul just because they really hate getting <laughs> milled out. <laughs> oh, that would be so great. Yep, sack, yep. Down to 10. And opponent realizes the mill is nigh, scoops it up, scoops it up, okay. Uh, so against burn, Naya burn, unfortunately, that means all the graveyard hate and stony silence are possibilities. So we want battle at the bridge. We want sun droplet. We want wear tears. We can go down Nile spell bombs. Go down an ornithopter. How do we make all this stuff fit? Probably have to cut like a spring leaf drum. I wouldn't mind this welding jar either. Hmm. What's our last cut? Maybe, oh, whir is so good. I guess it's kind of slow. Go down the whir. Try it like that. Antiquities whir could be fine and welding jar could be good. Maybe we go down ornithopter for welding jar. That does make the infinite scrap trawler combo harder with only five pieces and we need two of them. I guess maybe that means we could go down... Antiquities War is pretty slow, though. I don't think we can actually bring it in. Maybe we go down a Scrap Trawler and leave the War of Invention. Let's try it like that. Little weaker on the Scrap Trawler combos, but still might be good enough. Hmm. Well, I guess we keep this. We have some good things, but we'll see how they assemble. Goblin Guide. Well, free lands would be helpful. Opponent. Gets it. Sword of the Meek on top. Well, we don't really need another one of those. Well, play Moreland Haunt. Play Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. Bloodstained Mire. Pona cracks it. Stopping rounds. Untapped. Oh, Swift Spear. And there's a bolt. That is a fast clock. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we find. This wear tear is not looking great. Goblin Guide. Oh my god. Oh, we're sword flooded. Sword flooded to the max. Springleaf drum, watery grave. Yeah, this. <laughs> this is a sword tron, is not exactly what we're hoping for. We really want one sword usually, but we rarely slash never want three swords. Lava spike. Well, I guess maybe we should have mulliganed. I pictured this hand coming together a little bit better than it did. I think our only somewhat hope is battle at the bridge. Well, we hit a land. Down to four. Yeah, we're just, we're literally dead. They have a ripple suspended. We could Sly Requisition or Chump, but that is not going to get there. And, all right. Well, good news is we're on the play for game three. Maybe we went too far with the wear tears. Did we over sideboard? Maybe? Ratchet Bomb blowing up all the one drops seems sweet. Go up Ratchet Bomb. I'm afraid we go down the wear tear, then they just slam rest in peace and we lose. Let's go down one more Scrap Trawler. Try it like that. We are on the play for game three, which is nice. Well, okay. I mean, we get a fast Sly Requisitioner, but that's about all we have. So Darksteel Citadel, Welding Jar, Mox Opal, Chromatic Star, Chromatic Star. Pass the turn, opponent. Inspiring Vantage. And there's Goblin Guide. Well, let's see what's on top. Opponent, getting it. Well, we get a land out of the way. Down to 18. Another land. We'll play Spire. One, two, three. One, two. Hmm. 
We can play Sly Requisitioner, but we can't really leave up anything. I mean, I guess it might buy us time. Or maybe we just wait. We could, like, sack a Welding Jar just to make a 1-1. One, one. It's definitely going to die. But I guess it makes our opponent spend a Burn Spell and some time on Sly Requisitioner. Compared to just doing nothing. Yeah, I guess we do it. Or do we? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, play Requisitioner. Pass the turn. We actually need to tap these to sack them. So we can't sack them while they're tapped. Arid Mesa. More Goblin Guides. Cracks it. Stomping Grounds. Untapped. There's the Bolt. Alright. Let's draw something. Gets in. Gets in. Top of our deck. War of Invention. Down to 14. Play Spire. Well, I guess we pass. Yeah, let's pass. Wooded Foothills. Lava Spike to 11. Opponent. Gonna go attacking. Oh, this is painful. War X2. Get Thopter Foundry. Ooh, Battle at the Bridge on top. That is a good one. Well, sacrifice Chromatic Star. Draw a card. Opponent cracks. Snow-covered mountain. Destructive revelry. So now we have to sack Welding Jar to regenerate. We draw Battle at the Bridge. Get a Thopter. Goblin Guide. Scrap Ooh, Scrap Trawler on top. Well, Chump with a Thopter. Drop to six. Opponent passes. Oh, play Spire. Battle at the Bridge. Man, maybe we go all the way. So three, four, five. Yeah, let's go all the way. Six. Kill a Goblin Guide. Go up to 12. Pass the turn. Riftbolt. Two cards in hand. Riftbolt. One card in hand. Bonet. Gets it. Land? Chromatic Star. All right. Down to 10. Well, play Scrap Trawler. Sack Chromatic Star. Get back Welding Jar. Ooh, opponent's last card's a bolt. Well, sack Scrap Trawler. Get back Chromatic Star. Make a Thopter gain a life. Get back Welding Jar. Draw a card. More Thopter Foundries. Thopter. Play Welding Jar. Pass the turn. I mean, we're somewhat stable, but we're at a pretty low life total. Rift Bolt. Down to nine. Rift Bolt. Down to six. What did our opponent find? Eidolon is the scariest. Opponent. Gets it. On top we have, ooh, Wear Tear. Well, block, block. Kill Goblin Guide. Opponent passes. Well, play Chromatic Star. Sack it for a Thopter. Gain a life. Draw a card. Wow, the top deck skull crack. All right. So we don't gain a life there. Hmm. I'll play Chromatic Star. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. It would be nice if our opponent would whiff once. Sack Chromatic Star. Gain a life, draw a card. More Chromatic Stars. Okay. Opponents passing. Sack Welding Jar. Gain a life, draw a card. Ooh, there's Grinding Station. Well, play Grinding Station. Mill ourselves. Sack the land. Looking for a sword. No sword. Untap. Go to combat. Attack. Sack. No sword. Play Chromatic Star. Untap. Sack. Sword. No sword. Sack Chromatic Star. Were of Invention. Thopter. Untap. Mill. Sack a Thopter. There's a sword. Uh, let's sack Grinding Station. Up to seven. Pass the turn. So we're out of double bolt range at least. Oh my god. Opponent. Land. Oh, we might have got there. Grinding station. Well, go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Sack the sword. Sack the sword. Gain a life. Get it back. Oh, goodness. All right. Sack the sword. Wow. That was so close. Go up to 10. Pass the turn. Leave up an activation. And now I think we can just gain enough life that Burn shouldn't be able to kill us. Hopefully. Boros Charm. Down to six. Yep. Opponent. 
passing. Well, Sex Horde, back up to seven. Well, not the most flashy kill. Kind of the traditional Thopter Foundry sort of the meat kill. But we will 100% take it. Get in. And now, Burn really has to kill a combo piece, because we can just gain more life than they can draw in burn spells. Like, gaining four life a turn, that's essentially, like, two turns worth of draws for our opponent to get that amount of damage. So get back, Sword. Good god. That was close. That was super close for a minute. Sack the sword. Back up to ten. And opponent scoops it up. Whoo! That was a nail biter, but... Yeah, Sly Sword coming through. We beat two versions of uh, Burn now. Yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, Macha Brew about nothing time. We are Sly Sword comboing, and I think we're keeping the Zero Lander. This probably sounds absurd, but we have mana from Mox, so we get to Ornithopter, Memnite, Mox Opal, hmm, Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. We look like weird affinity at the moment. We are going to want to land at some point. <laughs> but for having zero land, man, if they blow up Mox Opal, life gets really bad really quick. Polluted Delta. Opponent passes. And Memnite. All right, so add mana, sac Chromatic Star, draw a card. All right, there's a land. Play Darksteel Citadel. Play Grinding Station. Oh, uh, is this getting countered? That would be annoying. Steam vents, untapped. It looks like it is. Or is this opt? Wow, spell snared. Okay, that's annoying and unexpected and makes me unhappy. I'll play Mem Knight, pass the turn. Oh, uh, we really actually wanted that to resolve. As strange as that probably sounds. Well, come on, Mem Knight. You can do it. <laughs> uh, swamp. Search for Ascanta. Another land would be fine. Were we can't cast yet. Oh, play Nile Spell Bomb. Go attacking. Pass the turn. Ascanta. Mills. So let's just Nile Spell Bomb. Mostly to just draw a card. Well, there's a sword. Man, we got our combo. We can't cast it. And our opponent probably has a billion counters, but Moreland Haunt. Interesting. Well, get in with our Mem Knights. We're doing the colorless land thing. Hit our opponent. They're gonna kill a Mem Knight? Opponent takes it. I'll play Moreland Haunt. Play Sword of the Meek. Pass the turn. We really could use some colored mana. Fatal pushes a Mem Knight. As Kanta, Mills of Land. Polluted Delta. Opponent passing. Mox Opal. Hmm. <laughs> Awkward. Well, let's equip Ornithopter. Go to combat. Attack. Snapcaster. For fatal push. Blocks Ornithopter. Well, we gotta go for it. If our opponent has a counter, that's disappointing, but Mox Opal. Play a new Mox Opal. Keep the new Mox Opal. Mox Opal. Thopter Foundry. Pass the turn. All right, well, we got our combo down. It was not pretty or easy, but we did get there. So now we can start thopping. Opponent's at 11. I mean, if they can't answer this, there is a chance that we can just make thopters each turn until we win. Opponent. Millsfield of Ruin. Watery Grave. Tapped. And passes. Well, pass the turn. Start thopping. Search for Escanta. Land. Opponent. Passing. Well, let's start the process. Thopter Foundry. Sack Sword. Get back Sword. Thopter Foundry. Sack Sword. Get back Sword. And Thopter Foundry, Sack Sword, get back Sword. Up to 23, Springleaf Drum. Well, go to combat, attack. Huh? Oh boy, Torrential Gear Hulk. That's a big old thing. For Lightning Bolt, kills a Thopter. All right, takes their beats. Do we win here? Grinding Station, we don't. Grinding Station, Sack Sword. But we don't have way to make one ones. Well, play Springleaf Drum. Sack Sword. Make a Thopter. Tap it. Play Grinding Station. Pass the turn. All right. So we'll let our opponent uh, hit us this turn. That was a good window to get down a backup combo piece. Scalding Tarn for our opponent. Yeah, it's in with Torrential. Yep. Down to 19. Opponent passes. Ooh, Sly Requisitioner. 
That's appealing. Well, go to combat. Let's see what our opponent does. Attack. Terminates a Thopter. Yep. Drops to seven. Well, let's just make Thopters. I don't think there's a reason to shake the boat here. As Kanta. Well, let's make one right now. Sack Sword. Make a Thopter. Get back Sword. If we can resolve this Whirr, we'll be able to go infinite. All right. Go ahead, opponent. You can flip your Iskanta. But can you beat the Thopters? Mills a Bolt. Flips his Kanta. Activates. They're just digging right away. Desperation main phase digging. What do you got? I don't even know what they're looking for. Anger of the Gods, I guess, to buy some time? Terminate. Okay. I guess that temporarily keeps our opponent alive. Cycles Illumination. This is a spicy Grixis list. Opponent. Gets in with Torrential. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we will take it. Megathopter. This way, our opponent's going to have to terminate, and our opponent's going to be tapped out. And that's going to maybe let us win the game if we draw a blue source. Or just let us... Uh, is our opponent... Opponent scoops it up? All right. They've had enough. They've had enough. An opponent... Uh, yeah? Uh, gives up. Well, no stony silence to worry about. That's good news. Opponent just has lots of counters and removal. So I think we want Welding Jar. Leyline of the Void is Graveyard Hate. Probably the most likely Graveyard Hate is Surgical, and that is the hardest Graveyard Hate to play around for our deck. We could bring in our own Surgicals. I don't know if that's worth it. This seems like an Antiquities War kind of matchup. Maybe we just go Light. Maybe we just go... Antiquities War Welding Jar, go down one Ornithopter, and maybe like one, hmm, maybe we gotta go down one Requisitioner. Requisitioner feels like it dies a lot. Let's try it like this. I'm not 100% sure. It's gonna depend on what Graveyard Hate our opponent's playing. My guess would be that they're playing Surgicals, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, all right. I will not complain about turn one Thopter Foundry. Scalding Tarn. Opponent cracks it. I mean, I guess they can hit us with discard, potentially. Watery Grave. Untapped. And Inquisition. Well, I'm assuming that's Thopter Foundry gone. I guess they could take Mox Opal just to try to slow us down. Doesn't seem that wise, though. They do take the Mox Opal. Interesting. I'll play the land. Untapped. Play Nile Spellbomb. Play Mem Knight. Well, play Mem Knight. Pass the turn. Opponent must just have more discard. And they figure take Opal and then take Thopter Foundry. Tap land. No discard. All right, opponent passes. Land? Grinding station. Well, get in. This is a little disappointing because we can't actually cast anything. I guess the box Opal is looking like a pretty good choice at the moment. Sulfur Falls. Opponent passes. Well, there's a land. So Polluted Delta. Crack Polluted Delta. Grab a Watery Grave. Untapped. Hmm. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it to 13. Well, let's play Grinding Station. I think we're more okay with this being countered than Thopter Foundry being countered. All right, Resolves. This also gives us some fringe value of being able to sacrifice Mem Knights in response to removal. Oh, Coligan's Command is pretty good. Nile Spellbomb. Well... Exile our opponent's graveyard. We don't get to draw off of it. And I guess we discard... Hmm. Requisitioner? That's a tough choice, because Requisitioner does help us go infinite. Opponent's passing. All right, we untap. More whirs. Oh, we really need another land. Go to combat. Hmm. Go attacking. Opponent's going to block with tar pit. Well, hopefully they don't have spell snare. This cuts out all the other counters. Well, we'll sack to mill. Play Thopter Foundry. Untap. And pass the turn. We didn't mill a sword yet. Island for our opponent. Yeah, maybe we gotta bring in Surgicals. Coligan's command with Snapcasters is gonna be rough. Oh, opponent just has. All right, well, sack it. Mill. There's a sword. Discard a whir. Opponent passes. Oh, play Star. No untap. Get in with Mem Knight. Opponent down to 11. Yeah, pass the turn. I feel like we probably should not incidentally mill our opponent. That sounds risky. Opponent passes. Well, Spire of Industry. Pass the turn. Now we want a window to 
were for Scrap Trawler. Steam Vents, untapped. All right, so that means Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay. There's a chance we can find the win, win here. Pass the turn. Oh, we can't win at instant speed, though. Yeah, we just, we got to pass. Is it Torrential time? Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay. Four Coligan's Command. We're going to hit our grinding station. Well, let's whir. X3. So we can't go off at instant speed because we need to be able to cast the Memnite. But I think we still just take Scrap Trawler. Take Scrap Trawler. Untap. Hmm. I don't want to mill our opponent. Mill our opponent. Actually, maybe we got to mill ourselves. Yeah, mill ourselves. Sacromatic Star. Scrap Trawler back. Mox Opal. Draw a card. Discard Ornithopter. Get back Nile Spellbomb. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think we're going to have to bring in Surgicals with all these Coligans commands that we've seen. Bonnet goes to combat. Gets in. And we'll take it. Down to nine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Too many Torrentials. Torrential on Coligans command. Yeah, we got to bring in Surgicals. Going to kill our Scrap Trawler. We discard, ugh, I guess, Moon Vessel. Scrap Trawler. Get back Thopter Foundry. I mean, maybe we can just grind? Opponent passes. More Trawlers. We'll play Mox Opal. Play Thopter Foundry. Sack Memnite. Get back our swords. And pass the turn. <sighs> this is going to be close. What's in our opponent's hand? Pyromancer. Opponent's going to start going wide. Fatal Push on our token. Makes a token. Yeah. Two Torrentials just might be too much. Opponent gets in, gets in. Well, sacrifice Sword of the Meek. Megathopter. Block Torrential. Drop to six. Opponent passes. Well, I guess we just gotta pass and make as many Thopters as possible for blocking. If our opponent gets too greedy and we draw land, there's a chance we can Scrap Trawler Grinding Station. All right, well, let's do our thing. Sacrifice, Sword of the Meek, Thopter. Sacrifice, Sword of the Meek, Thopter. Sacrifice, Sword of the Meek. With two swords, we're not really in danger of getting got by Surgical, which is nice. Thopter. Sacrifice, Sword of the Meek, Thopter. Block, 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 block. Snapcaster, four Fatal Push. All right, opponent's staying alive. Making a token, keeping the young Pyromancer alive. Yup. We take zero. Opponent passes. Polluted Delta. Oh, this is so crazy. We could go for it. Oh. I guess we can all... Let's just, let's just pass. Play Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. We have the win in hand. If we can eventually resolve it. Get in with the Thopter. Hit our opponent. Down to seven. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. What do you got, opponent? The problem is removal fizzles our combo. So we got to be aware of that as well. Opponent goes attacking. Well, let's do our thing. Sack the sword. Make a thopter. Gain some life. Sack a sword. Thopter. Life. I mean, we are pressuring our opponent to the point where they are going to have to do something at some point. Or they risk just losing to the thopters? Well, keep it going. Sack of Sword. Thopter. Life. Crack Polluted Delta. Grab an island. Zag the Sword. Thopter. Life. Block. Block. What do you got, opponent? Opponent passes. Well, go to combat. Attack with everything. Lightning Bolt makes a token. Okay. Opponent takes it. Down to three. Play Mem Knight. Ceremonious Rejection makes a token. Well, pass the turn. Do the same thing. Same thing. Opponent untaps. And scoops it up. We got there. We got there. Oh my god. It's working. Sly sword. We haven't had too many crazy combos, but we just keep winning and grinding people out, taking down Grix's control. And maybe this is actually a weirdly good deck. I mean, I guess we've gotten a little lucky to dodge the stony silences and dodge some rest in pieces, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We're up to 3-0. We're up to 3-0. The kids are eating. Sweet. All right.
much a brew about nothing time. Playing some sly sword combo and eh, all right. We need a sword, but we have two of our combo pieces and we have some fast mana. This is a hand that can win pretty quickly. If we just happen to draw basically sword or I mean, uh, yeah, we got a lot of options. But most of them revolve around sword. So let's island and just chromatic star. Ship the turn. Bloodstained mire. Opponent passes. Well, hollowed fountain untapped. Play thopter foundry. Opponent cracks. Can they counter this? Okay, blood crypt tapped. Play mox opal. And yeah, let's just pass. Actually, let's let's play moon vessel. Pass the turn. We're pretty resilient to a discard spell here since we just have two grinding stations. And at some point we can get a redraw with this chromatic star. All right, collective brutality reveals a mirror or kills the mirror. We get a mana, so let's just sack star and make a thopter, draw a card. More thopter foundries. Now play springleaf drum. <laughs> um, play grinding station, pass the turn. Now we can start milling ourselves to try to find a sword. Mountain. We'll definitely sack the Thopter here, at least. Opponent's playing Mardu Pyromancer. I'm not actually sure how this goes. They probably have some Coligan's commands. Otherwise, we should be able to grind them out. Either figuratively or literally. Alright, so step one. Sacrifice Thopter Foundry. Make a Thopter. Then sacrifice Thopter, milling ourselves. Um, yeah, let's go again. All right, no sword yet. Well, sacrifice Opal, mill ourselves. There's a sword. So play Mox Opal, untap. Play Thopter Foundry, untap. Pass the turn. All right, so now we got the sword in the graveyard. Actually, two swords in the graveyard. So our opponent needs another Coligan's command this turn. Liliana, sure. Takes up. Well, we lose our second grinding station. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Alexa's not sure about the grinding station discard. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> oh, God, Alexa. All right. Yeah, opponent discards Inquisition. Hmm. What are we sacking here? Sack grinding station. Make a thopter. Tap the thopter. Sack a sword. Untap. Kill Liliana. And now we should be in pretty good shape. With two swords going, even graveyard hate is pretty beatable. Mine is like something that just locks down the entire graveyard, but for the most part. And our thopters should be able to beat lingering souls and friends. Kill Liliana. Play Spire of Industry. Pass the turn. And now we keep making Thopters until our opponent gives up. Well, yeah, all right, we don't even have to make Thopters. Opponent just gives up. Okay, Mardu Pyromancer. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What is our opponent going to be bringing in? Probably Surgicals as their graveyard hate, perhaps. Maybe Nile Spell Bombs. Surgicals a tough one to really beat. Maybe we like Welding Jar. Ether Grid, Go Down, Ornithopter, Springleaf Drum, and yeah, let's go down both Ornithopters. Let's try it like that. I think that's fine. Ether Grid gives us a way to win through the graveyard hate. Also seems good against random lingering souls, since we can just kill it. Well, okay. This seems good. It gets a lot worse if our opponent can Oh dear. Well, come on, Ether Grid. <laughs> let's do it. Man, is this double ley line and discard? Hmm. Well, this is going to be challenging. Inquisition. I'm assuming they take Mox Opal. We did not bring in Wear Tears. Normally, Mardu Pyromancer plays Nile Spellbomb or Surgical. But our opponent's on the ley line plan, and uh, they got us. <laughs> I mean, I guess the good news is we did bring in Gurpur Ether Grid, so we could find that eventually. We can just make a few tokens. Wow, take Thopter Foundry. Okay, we're pretty down with that. So Polluted Delta, crack it, take a Watery Grave, play Nile Spellbomb, play Mox Opal, pass the turn. I guess the good news is our opponent did spend two cards on Ley Lines. Jeez, all the hate. 
They're just gonna blow up our opal. Opponent's passing. Oh, play Polluted Delta. Play Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. Opponent's ticking up. All right. <clears throat> yep. Well, at least we get to draw cards when our stuff dies. Cracks Ratchet Bomb. All right, so s add mana, set Chromatic Star for black. Oh, we don't get to draw a card. Oh my goodness. Oh, Leyline of the Void is so bad for us. All right. Yeah, that's, that's rough. Uh, it doesn't trigger when we sacrifice it. It triggers it when it goes to the graveyard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, the only bit of good news is at the moment, our opponent does not have many cards in hand. Bad news is we have not much going on. Take a hollowed fountain. Untap. Play Thopter Foundry. Pass the turn. Opponent. Passing. <sighs> Play Springleaf Drum. Play Mem Knight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just pass. Inquisition. Well, I mean, I guess we were X1, just because we're going to lose it anyway. Four. I guess we'll just take Welding Jar. See if we could win the old-fashioned way. Sword of the Meek. Hmm. I'll play Sword of the Meek. Get in with Mem Knight. Yeah, we're just going to have to try to make some Thopters and beat our opponent down. Opponent. Passing. One, two, three, four, five. Play Sly Requisitioner. Sack Mox Opal. Play Mox Opal. Go attacking. Come on, Jakey Beatdown. You can do it. <laughs> If we beat double ley line discard, all right, opponent finds land number three, cracks it, swamp, Kemball. okay, well, equip the Thopter, go attacking, and play the island, pass the turn, Bloodstained Mire, uh, that's legendary, oops, <laughs> opponent thought they had us with the double Kemball, but maybe they just wanted to get empty handed, that's possible, opponent cracks, swamp, Inquisition, yeah, they look like they're trying to get empty-handed. Could they have bridge? Oh, bridge would be annoying. Um, let's sacrifice Mem Knight. <gasps> Ether Grid! We did it! We did it! Uh, that is exactly what we were hoping to draw. I mean, we are going to take two, get in with the Thopter, but now we can ping our opponent down, pass the turn, and Ether Grid gets the job done even through an ensnaring bridge, if that's what our opponent's setting up. Wow. Double ley line, and I think we're going to win. That's kind of ridiculous, but I think that's what's happening. Ley line is the brutalist card for our deck. Opponent. More Kembles? <laughs> uh, Coligan's command. All right, well, tap, tap. Sacrifice the sword. Lose Sly Requisitioner. Opponent. Might as well get in. Well, ping our opponent. Ping our opponent. Down to six. Play Darksteel Citadel. Go attacking. And I think we can win here. Hit our opponent. Down to three. So now we tap, tap. Ping our opponent. Tap, tap. Ping our opponent. Then we sacrifice Springleaf Drum for an untapped artifact. And then Darksteel Citadel, Thopter. Ping our opponent. And we got the GG's through double ley line on turn one and i guess this deck works i guess it works i guess it works oh my god all right a uh, slice sword slice sword through the hate through the hate all right much of room about nothing time uh we are in our last round going for a 5-0 going for a 5-0 with slice sword in modern and uh we got no sword but we can dump our hand mem night beats mem night beats so Spire of Industry, Mox Opal, Mem Knight, Ornithopter, Thopter Foundry, Goo. All right, opponent. Can you beat the jank? Also, can we draw a sword? Flooded Strand, opponent cracks it. Hollowed Fountain, untap. And Ancestral Suspended, sword. Ooh, Sly Requisitioner. Well, that's sweet. Play Spire of Industry. Play Requisitioner. Pass the turn. Start making tokens. Visions taken down. I guess we're just on the token beatdown plan at the moment. Bonnet Island. All right, so Sack Mem Knight, make two tokens. Still would like a sword. 
Chromatic Star. Well, play Chromatic Star. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Pass the turn. Ancestral. Taken down. Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me! Whoa! Oh, the luck of the control deck. Oh, that's insane. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay. Well, that's the thing that just happened to us. Well, uh, it's a miracle. Oh, 5 0 Dream dying to. Oh my goodness. There was no setup there. There was no setup. That was just. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, not like that. Opponent passes. More Thopter Foundries. That's not especially the combo piece that we want. Well, play another Thopter Foundry. Opponent has a Spell Snare. All right. Um, pass the turn. Ancestral's going to come off Suspend next turn. Oh, that Blind Flip. That was ruinous. Also Jace. Oh, God. Well, I'm guessing it's over now. Brainstorms with Jace. Yeah, opponent's going to just have an entirely new hand of cards. Oh, no. I was feeling good about where we were with our beatdown plan, too. I mean, it's possible we can just combo kill if we run well enough. Opponent. Passing. Well, sacrifice chromatic star, draw a card. Land. Get a Thopter. Nile spell bomb. Well, play Nile spell bomb. Polluted delta. Crack it. Grab an island. Uh, actually, let's not pay life. Play Thopter Foundry. Attack Jace. Unfortunately, our opponent's going to have seven cards in hand. And a Jace. Pass the turn. So here comes Ancestral. Yep. Six cards in hand. Seven cards in hand. Ticks up Jace. Interesting. To the bottom. Island. Is this also Teferi? Search for his Kanta. Opponent passing. Uh, Springleaf Drum. Vendillion click for our opponent. Yep. Leaves it. Well, attack Jace. Opponent blocks. Alright, so sacrifice Nile Spell Bomb. Draw a card. We really want a grinding station, I think. Ooh, sort of the meek. Well, play Springleaf Drum. Well, I mean, what's the safest way? Uh, we could play Sword. I think we just gotta pass. I think the problem is if we play Sword and they draw like a Teferi or something, we can't sacrifice it because we don't have enough mana. Mills of Land. On the other hand, Countering Sword is not all that effective of a plan because then we just sack like another Thopter Foundry and get it back. Brainstorms with Jace. Oh, that Terminus. That Terminus. Ugh. Oh. That was turn two, wasn't it? Turn three, Terminus. Well, that's why you play Terminus. Opponent cracks. Opponent passes. Well, get in it, Jace. Play Sword of the Meek. Opponent ops. Okay. Terminus, sure. You can get our Thopter. That's fine. Thopter down. Yep. Sword. Opponent ops. I mean, you can counter if you want. We're pretty fine with that. Ornithopter. Pass the turn. Well, now we start making Thopters and see if that's enough. Opponent does get his Kanta. Brainstorms with Jace. Opponent's down two Terminuses, which is nice. Yup. Celestial Colonnade. Opponent passes. Well, let's... Sack Sword. Thopter. Sack Sword. Thopter. Sack Sword. Thopter. On tap. Attack Jace. And I think at this point, we just keep making Thopters and hoping that that's enough. Cryptic taps our team. All right. Well, I mean, pass the turn. Field of Ruin. Well, we might as well make a Thopter since we have free mana. Grab an island. I'm wondering how our opponent gets out of this. They actually have to kill a reasonable number of things. Pass a Thopter. Okay. I mean, they just keep coming and coming and coming. Brainstorms with Jace. Field of Ruin. I guess our plan is to try to cut off our mana. Detention Sphere. Well, Sacrifice. Opponent. Passing. Well, Sacrifice the Sword. Make a Thopter. Sacrifice the Sword. Make a Thopter. Sword. Thopter. And Sword. For a Thopter. Untap. Go to Combat. 
Snapcaster for Cryptic. Going to bounce to Tension Sphere. Tap our team. All right, can we win here? So we play Scrap Trawler. We play Grinding Station. So play Scrap Trawler. Play Grinding Station. Oh, opponent scoops it up. Scoops it up. Cannot beat the Scrap Trawler. All right. And we're one game away through the Turbidus flip. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Oh, man. Can we finish it off with a 5 0? All right. Where Tear's got to come in, number one. Antiquities War also seems good. Maybe Pithing Needle? Go down two Ornithopters. Go down a Springleaf Drum. Go down one Scrap Trawler and maybe one Sly Requisitioner. Uh, do we want the Ether Grid? How would we fit the Ether Grid? That's a better question. And let's run it like that. Run it like that. We gotta win one of these two to finish with the 5 0. All right. What's the hand look like? Ooh. We got a mulligan. Yeah, I can't keep that. Ooh, this we can keep. All right. Moreland Haunt. I think to the bottom. Tap land. There's Trawler. Well, Dark Seal Citadel. Memnite, Mox Opal, Grinding Station, past the dirt, Flooded Strand, Pony Cracks It, Island, and there's the rest in peace. All right, that does slow us down a lot. Opponent passes. Oh, that's a wear tear. Hmm. Well, play the island. Play Scrap Trawler. Get in with Memnite. Hit our opponent, past the dirt, Glacial Fortress, Ancestral Suspended. Opponent, passing. Sword. Man, we are very close to winning. I'll go to combat. Attack our opponent. Snapcaster. Well, kill, rest in peace. Snapcaster is going to block. Yep. So, grinding stations ourselves. Mill Mox Opal. Or, sack Mox Opal. Scrap Charler dies. Get back Mox Opal. Play Mox Opal. Untap. Play Thopter Foundry. Pass the turn. Ancestral taken down. Island. Opponent passes. I'll go to combat. Get in with Mem Knight. Hit our opponent. Play Sword of the Meek. <laughs> Phonus says haha in chat. Opponent's going to Cryptic Bounce Grinding Station. Okay. And counter. Well, pass the turn. Opponent's got two cards in hand. Ancestral's ticking down. Field of Ruin. Opponent passing. Well, Sack Memnite. Make a Thopter. Get back Sword. Untap. Spire of Industry. Get in with our Thopter. Hit our opponent. Play Nile Spellbomb. Pass the turn. Stay to the plan. Make the Thops. Attack with the Thops. See if we can get the 5 0. Opponent's passing. Well, I mean, Sacrifice Sword. Thopter. Sack Sword. Thopter. Sack Sword. Thopter. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Play Pithing Needle. And we're going to name Teferi. That's the Planeswalker that could potentially get our opponent out from this. Jace, I don't think, does necessarily. Blows up a land. Well, make a Thopter. We get our island. Opponent untaps. Draws some cards. All right, this is a moment of truth. We are super close to winning if our opponent doesn't find something. Refills all hand. There's Jace. Okay. So our opponent's probably trying to set up opt into terminus would be my guess and opponent scoops it up 5-0 5-0 with sly sword we did it we did it 5-0 cruising through for eight chess and uh all right all right all right um okay well i guess the deck works i guess it works and uh we just cruise through that friendly league to a 5-0 and that means the kids are eating we get to open some treasure chests eight treasure chests uh sweet <laughs> all right uh we can talk about how awesome that was in the wrap-up well treasure chest time eight oh and we got a million of the oh, let's open these i don't think there's anything worthwhile in these but let's open them serrated arrows pauper playable i guess i don't mind having serrated arrows oh vexing's chusher 
I don't think that's worth anything. I don't think any of the cards from this are worth anything. But, I mean, they're not bad cards to have in your collection for playing with. There's probably something. Renegade Rally or promo. These are just all promos, and they give them out monthly, I think, as player rewards. Go for the throat. I mean, having promo art school. Tech Edge, promo. Used to be worth something. Back in the days before Field of Ruin. Adorn Bouncer. All right. Well, let's get to the main event. Eight treasure chests. Chest number one. Elvish Archdruid. Uh, I kind of don't think that's worth anything, but maybe it is. It's been reprinted like a million times. Yeah, it's worth like 30 cents. It is played in Modern Elves, though. Random commons and uncommons. All right. Next, we get... Ooh. Moat. Is Moat worth anything? 27 cents. <laughs> We're good at getting things that are worth about 30 cents. Well, Mo, I can randomly hose Commander Clash. That'll be fun. <laughs> uh, some play points. Outpost Siege. Oh, I used to love this card. We played this in so many budget decks back in its day in standard. 10 play points. Ugh. <laughs> Judgment. All right. Three to go. Well, I'm starting to think we should have just sold the treasure chests. Hakan. There was one brief moment when people played this in Modern, but it is now worth 18 cents. <laughs> oh, we're not going to get anything. Oh, just complete, complete loss. 20 play points. I mean, I guess we've gotten like $4 of play points, but boy. Lots of Cold Snap stuff. It's the Cold Snap chess. Uh, chess. Hide our Rhyme Win Master. Also not worth anything. All right, all right, all right. Well, uh, chess, not good. Deck's super sweet, though. Deck's super sweet. But, uh, yeah, that's what the wrap-up's for. We'll talk about it in the wrap-up. Be right back. So, what do we learn this week about Sly Sword combo in Modern? And we did it! We got the 5-0! We finished with a perfect 5-0 in a league. Yes, it was a friendly league, so whatever. But we played mostly tier decks. We did play one sort of weird mono red burn deck. But we played a lot of tier decks. And we were able to combo off and beat every single one of them. Getting the perfect 5-0 finish. So... I don't even know. Maybe that's just the whole wrap-up. We got a 5-0. What else is there to say? Seriously, though, this deck is ridiculously hard. And if you are going to pick it up, it's obviously competitive enough. It does get hit by some powerful sideboard cards that people play for other decks. Stony Silence is a big one. That is pretty brutal. Graveyard Hate, like Rest in Peace, Leyline of the Void, is also brutal. Although, we beat a deck that went turn one, double Leyline Thought sees you. And we were still able to win against Bardu Pyro. Romancer. So apparently we can win through at least some of the hate. But I was pretty impressed with the power level of the deck. That said, if you're going to pick it up, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Because there are a million synergies, a million loops. And this was actually the second league I played with the deck. I tried one and boy, those were some rough matches. It took me a while to realize that grinding station, you should be milling yourself at first. It took me a while to kind of find all all the random combos and all the random loops and I still feel like I'm only like 90% there even after going 5-0 with the list there's still more to be learned so if you do decide to pick up Sly Sword combo practice 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 because there are a ton of tricks a ton of choices a ton of synergies although it's also true that there is a ton of power in the deck enough power that you can beat a lot of the tier decks and potentially be competitive in the modern format at. So, as far as criticism and changes to the deck, I didn't really like Moreland Haunt. I get the idea of Moreland Haunt, but I think that it's probably not worth it or not necessary. But I was pretty happy with how it was overall. I actually did make some tweaks from the instant deck tech build, especially in the sideboard based on my experience in the first league. I really wanted surgicals. I wanted more ways to deal with opposing graveyard hate, wanted more tutor targets. I was very sad that I wasn't able to use War of Invention to get a Pithing Needle to stop Oblivion Stone, get a Ratchet to deal with a bunch of tokens, for example. So made some of those changes, so I'm pretty happy with how the build is right now. So I don't know. I say run it as it is, practice it a ton, and you should be able to have some success with it. So anyway, 
that's been our Mojo Brew for this week. 5-0 with Sly Sword and Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.